sequence after P wave. Okay, so if you know cardiac cycle in detail, along with the vigorous diagram, along with the PV curve, only then you can solve this type of question. That is why I always say before going to exam, always revise your cardiac cycle. We have discussed in only I think 10 15 minutes. Hardly it will take 10 minutes to understand that. So go back to your video and see the video. But in this question, I will tell you A wave. A wave in the jugular venous wave, if you remember, jugular venous wave, A wave, C wave, B wave. A wave is due to atrial contraction. You know that C wave. C wave is during when cusp bulge in the atria during isovolumetric contraction. V wave is during isovolumetric relaxation. So A wave, it means it is telling you about atrial contraction. Atrial contraction. Then first heart sound is S1. S1, S1 is always followed by IVC. If you remember, I have discussed in cardiac cycle so many times. S1 is followed by IVC. S2 is followed by IVR. So S1 is followed by IVC. S2 is followed by IVR. So this is a universal truth. Rapid filling of the ventricles. So it is telling you about the diastole. So first. It is atrial contraction and then it is rapid filling. 70% is because of the passive filling. 30% is because of the atrial contraction. Then T waves. Then T waves. Okay. So let me compare and contrast how, which is the early, which is the late. So we can see from this diagram. Okay. 